So in this clip, I'm going to show you how you can use the turtle so you can start programming it. So what you need to do first is search for a mining turtle. And you do this by going to the inventory. So I press E on my keyboard. And in the top right corner, you have the compass, which is where you search. And we're going to search for a turtle and we need a mining turtle. So let's just uh, click that and drag that in. Uh, the next thing we need is coal. And the reason we need this is because the mine turtle needs fuel. So uh, you're going to right click to place your mine turtle. And then what you're going to do is right click on it again. And you're going to need to drag the coal that you need into the first block. And if you type in refuel all, that will refuel anything that's in that section there. So you can see the level of fuel is now 80. So that will allow about 80 movements of the uh, mine turtle. So the next thing that we need to actually start doing is create a program. But we also need to think about labeling our turtle. Because uh, the turtle, if you ever get rid of it by mistake, if you left click and destroy it, you want to have a label so you can pick it back up again. So I'm going to go label set and we're going to give this a label called my movement prog. Okay. So that's now set to my movement prog. So if I accidentally destroy it, I can still pick it up and use it wherever I want. So we're going to create our first program now called uh, moving. And to get your turtle moving, you can do a number of different instructions. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is turtle.forward uh, and you can open your brackets. Uh, so you can see this, I'm going to put a sleep in there for one second. Uh, turtle.forward again. This is just so you can see how effective this is. Uh, turtle.forward one more time with a sleep. Save that. Go to exit. And now, if you go moving, press enter and escape from this screen, you'll see that the turtle moves forward three steps. So that's some of the basics. Now, the next thing I want you to do is we're going to see if we can get it to turn in different directions. So all I do is go down. I'm going to say turtle dot turn right. And the right must have a capital letter. It is case sensitive. Um, and we're going to move forward again. Turtle dot forward. Sleep one second. Turtle dot turn left this time, and if you save it and run it to three, then you see turns, goes forward, turns again, and goes forward. So now that you've kind of got to the, the basics of moving your turtle around, you might want to experiment with the code, and you might want to actually think about placing blocks down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get any random block. You can even search for planks. But I'm going to click so that I've got quite a few in my inventory. And this will make sense in a minute. So if I right click on my turtle, I'm going to move those into like this is like placeholder one. And the reason for this is so you can call on this for specific objects when you're building. And this will make sense in a minute. So. This is called edit placing. Now, if the first thing I want to do is maybe I want to select which block I'm using. This is like block one, and then to the right would be two, and moving on would be three and four and so on. So I'm going to place a block, then I'm going to move backwards this time, just so you can see how it works. Turtle dot place. And turtle back. And there we go. And if I save that and if I run it, so this was called placing, and run that, you can see there you go. There's three blocks that the turtles managed to do uh, just for you programming it. Now I'll run it again to, all right. And that is most likely because that's run out of fuel or I've been in the way there. Uh, so 
that's why I said you need to make sure your mine turtle has enough fuel. So if you add 64 blocks in, that should be enough. Um, so I hope that's been useful um, and get coding something interesting. Thank you.